Welcome back and hello if you are new. So this week I'm going to be talking about a band that have been very much making waves over here in the UK. A band that I previously wasn't privy to, but I can tell you now that the hype is very much real. So without further ado, come check out Puppy's brand new album with me. Formed of three members of Billy Howard, Will Michael and Jock Norton, Puppy are very much a chameleon in the metal world. If you were to break it down, it would boil down to 10% Metallica, 20% Deftones, 20% Weezer, 20% Limp Bizkit, 10% Ghost and a final 20% of Nirvana. But despite these comparisons, everything sounds 100% Puppy, the energy of their songs. I feel that that is where Puppy's strong suit really, really lies. They've got this fantastic feel to them. For example, the final section of Demons, which features, you know, way more of a heavy metal riff, and the track shifts gear midway through. However, in the same breath, Bathe in Blood almost sounds like, you know, it'd be worshipping at the altar of black metal with those kind of blast beats that they bring in, and particularly a Deftones influence there. Yet, whilst there may be a veritable melting pot of genres going on throughout the listen, Puppy's overall sound comes from their energy. We're moved straight into a more doomy, kind of straight up heavy metal approach on the record, which is Poor Me. But the track features an absolutely genius chorus, which reminds me, and I mean this in the best way, of Stacy's mum. But it's, it's those kind of cadences that the band have picked up on that really create a great sense of melody. But then, after that, And So I Burn is thrown out of the gates with this quasi kind of thrash punk palm muting, which you wouldn't have expected at all. Yet just as the band may be full of 90s alt-rock influence, there are also sections where they really step up the distortion and get things cranked up to the next level of heavy particularly on Entombed, and it's a fantastic left turn into the darkness, which is temporary before we kind of go back into the light for those big choruses and their overall sound. Not to mention that the main verse of World Stands Still sounds like a composition of Limp Bizkit meets Bon Jovi. Two bands I never thought I would really say in the same sentence. Most of the time they work absolutely brilliantly, however on Nightcrawler there was one where I did kind of feel just a little bit let down and I thought it was going to go into this massive sort of heavy metal feel but then it just kind of, it sort of ebbed a bit and I, I wasn't quite there. But then following that there's I Feel an Evil which immediately as you can imagine ramps up the evilometer and is back in with that kind of classic thrashy style. However one of the delights as you can imagine are the brilliant use of dynamics that Puppy have implemented on the go. The single Black Hole is a perfect example of this. You know the track opens with this massive stomping riff and the first verse features all instruments all together but then following the chorus they go into the second verse where they bring things back slightly, which not only creates a sense of kind of tension and release, but makes that chorus sound even bigger when it does come back in, and that main riff in the verse when it kicks back in. However, as creative and clever as their songwriting may be, for me it did feel that there were some lulls in the album that did kind of bring its score down for me somewhat. Make no mistake, Puppy are a band like no other. Combining 90s alt-rock with a plethora of subgenres, the band truly have not only assimilated all of these sounds together, but in doing so, created their own sound. And so I was gonna give this record a three and a half out of five, but the more that I listened to it, the more I understood the merit and the fact that these songs really did actually stick in your head 
aside from a couple of lull moments, as I mentioned. And for that reason, I'm going to give the record a 4 out of 5. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure to turn that little notification bell on so you can see when I upload. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. I'd love to see what your reaction is to the album, to the singles. And I will see you guys next week for another album review. Alright, take care guys.